Good morning, modern steaders. Another 33 degree morning out. That's huge for us. For a lot of you, you're probably thinking, man, that's still cold. <laughs> We're looking forward to that kind of temperatures this time of the year. Good morning, chicken. Good morning, boys. You're either up early lately or you've been sleeping in. We're making a lock right here in the ice. Go ahead. There you go. Enjoy. Is that you, Hope? Morning. Uh-oh, you in heat. If you're in heat, Hope, that means the boys are gonna be noisy. Go ahead. Yep. What are you doing, Blossom? Go ahead. They're doing donuts around the hay feeder. There you go. Enjoy your breakfast, little P. What are we gonna do about you, huh? Need to try putting a two by four, like right there, going all the way across. And see if that'll keep little P out of the hay feeder. She's the only one who gets up in it. Morning, ladies. You didn't eat all your grain from yesterday. What's up with that? All that food scraps we gave you was pretty tasty, weren't they? Hope you ladies lay us more than four eggs today. We were a little disappointed yesterday. So it seems like everybody's been teaming up on me. You, all the viewers, everybody's saying, Al, you got a messy shop. You do have you, a messy shop. No, I don't. This is a productive shop. And everybody thinks we need to organize it. So, including me. Including Gina. So she's been over here scheming away. We've been looking at different ideas on Pinterest and viewers have been sending us uh, magazine articles and everything. Well, we've been trying to work on a design here that'll work with our shop and our tools. So Gina's been drawing it up. So today we're going to be working on building a custom organization. So it's kind of a combo of a bunch of couple different few ideas. Yeah. Yeah. So stay tuned and at the end of the video, hopefully part of the shop is organized. It won't all get organized today, but we'll get part of it started. But if after we have... build this, you need to put the stuff in the uh, spot. That's the whole purpose. Man, if you he have like any, to do that. I don't like to. If you have any more ideas of different organization skills that we should do, skills or projects to keep the shop more picked up, leave it in the comments down below. I'm not. That's not my forte. Isn't these little tiny cubes and all this little stuff? I like doing the bigger projects. Well, if you get so, if you make it so I can just do stuff on my own, you better watch out because I could just. Fill you the can way. organize it all you want. Yeah. Right. <laughs>
gotta mark center on these boards and pre-drill them. This is what our drills and all of our tools are gonna hang on. I need to make one, two, three, four, five right now. So we cut extras just in case any split. One, two, three, four, that's five. A one inch thick board is the right spacing we need to get this centered. So let's get a little glue. Now we need three of them ripped down to inch and three quarters of an inch wide. What do you think you're doing? You're building something? Need more pegboards? For an inside length, we have 27 and 3 quarters. first before we put any glue down.
biggest fit we have over there. I cut this one at a bit of an angle because it's going to hold our sawzall. And when the sawzall goes in, the battery's narrower, but then if you want the sawzall to level out, it's going to be able to raise up. And this down here is a little bit fatter. So I just wanted to make sure we had the room for it to kind of come up and down. I think we made it right.
was that? I like it right there. I think this is my favorite one, the one for the sawzall. You like this one? I can't remember. A skill saw? Skill saw. I always call it a circular saw. saw. Skill saw. It's got a home now. I like that. You think we got more eggs today than we did yesterday? I hope so. Me too. It's nice to see you ladies ate all your food up. You had left a bunch behind. How many eggs do you think? I'm gonna go six. You're gonna go six? I'll go eight. Ooh, they're dirty from mud. You girls are making up for yesterday or what? Yeah, it's actually they made nine more than Woof. yesterday. I have to see if I can find that culvert drain. We got a good puddle going on over here. I think it's over here somewhere. I don't know if that's it or not. I guess I could go for some ice cream. I need to take a break anyways. Hello, welcome to Sweet Treat Co. How may I help you? Sweet Treat Co. Love the name. Could I get a a coffee Oreo sundae? Okay, like any specific toppings that you Nope, like? just the ice cream in a dish. Please. Any ghost mouth whipped cream or anything? No, not today. No? No. Okay, I'll be right with you. All right. Here's your dessert. How much? Um, five dollars fifty cents, please. There you go. It keeps the change. Okay, and here's a ten dollars certificate for next time. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. See you next time at Sweet Treats Co. See you tomorrow. What are you boys even screaming about? You have plenty of hay. You have nothing, nothing to scream about, nothing. There you go, enjoy. Livy's was supposed to bring it down to the feeder. Oh, Tanner skid you off. Hey, Tanner. Get going baby mama, get going. All right, I'm going around you then. Watch out, or I'm gonna run you over. You girls ate all your hay. Boom. Boom. Say, Figaro is coming out. You checking on us? Huh? You checking on us? Do we pass the inspection? I'll have to get out the big shovel. See if we can get some water flowing. that drains under there somewhere but let's ditch it this way see 
Well, the water can't go down that way if we can get ditch it and get the water flowing that way. We got her flowing some. Look at that. Going all the way down here now. Yes. I feel like a little kid playing in mud puddles. I'm gonna go back there with the tractor and push it forward as much as I can with the bucket. Oh, we got it flowing more. It's coming down pretty good here. It's actually flowing pretty good. I like seeing that. I'll find this culvert drain at some point. It's over here somewhere. For me, the hardest part about cooking is figuring out what you're gonna cook. Now that the chickens are starting to lay more eggs, we're going, I think I'm going to start having breakfast or supper once a week. So I'm going to go ahead and make the Prairie Homestead Guy High Buttermilk Biscuits that everybody loves. Olivia's favorite. I'm going to have scrambled eggs and some ham steak. I must say breakfast for dinner is one of my favorite meals. I'm glad the ladies started up in their egg production again. Oh, it's gonna be good. Um, I will admit the shop organization looks nice. 
the bin came out really good and it looks nice having everything picked up. I'm going to be working on some more stuff coming up for the shop to organize it. If you guys have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Or if you have any photos of anything, send us an email. Our email is on our about page. But man, it's about time we organize. Don't let Gina know I said that. But it was getting pretty, pretty messy. But we've been busy with a lot of projects. So that's my excuse there. I'm hoping that we can keep the water moving and we don't get too backed up down by the barn, that it comes in the barn, or that we get too much and then it just turns, freezes up and turns into a big ice skating rink. So, I'm calling for some rain coming in, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You're a true blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.